Hello everybody, this is Parak Paul and uh, now today we are discuss about <coughs> pension member. Actually from onwards in my this uh, YouTube channel and my website we are uh, publishing more videos about steel structure, Revit architecture, AutoCAD, RCC and more subject which are deal with the civil engineering. Now the notes on your screen is all written by me. The tension member is also called as a tie member. This is what the something about the steel tie tension member. When the some when the tie member okay is connected to the uh, gasset plate, so obviously there is an increase in area is also in the first para and in second para telling about something pulling action, something the tensile stresses develop at the member. Okay, now we are uh, proceeding. These are uh, all my formats member which uh, I turn around into the PDF file. Now the slenderness ratio, what is the limit state design? Actually this uh, lecture is about the uh, bolting and uh, welding of the actually I have take the one part 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 by part of the all this lecture uh, boltings other side okay and welding other side. In this lecture I am talking about what is an exactly procedure to do all these things okay. Now the slenderness ratio we all know is, is very important for that uh, for steel structure uh, you have to use this steel table okay. The steel table. In this steel table, you get uh, all values in MKS and uh, SI units. Okay, all values required. That means uh, along with the design, the requirements and the area. What uh, as we go to the numerical, so you get the what I wanted to tell you about this. What is the use of the steel steel table? Is you can um, analyze now the IS code 800 2007 is about the limit state method design. Okay. Uh, actually, this I score is pretty well, uh, pretty good because the all formulas is, uh, are in a very well position. Okay, you have to download this uh, I score, then go to my website. I listed in my description. Okay, so here for tension member, you have to go for page number 32 and all that. What I yes, as I uh, written here for the slenderness ratio, table number three, page number 20, as 2800 2007. So this is very important. Okay, now what is slenderness ratio? It is a uh, when I am talking about uh, the slender when we completed the all load required. Okay, obviously, what do you mean by design, guys? Design means the load given um, that means the load uh, coming from the other structure for that to restrain and uh, to provide more uh, data that to uh, does not allow that make the failureity of in this structure, obviously. So for that, um, I provide such a, uh, I, that means the slender ratio is uh, also used because this is a very last stage. Okay. Now, what is the limit state method design? Okay. The design method in which the structure shall be designed to withstand safely all load likely to act on it through its life. Obviously, we compare limit state method with a working state method. Okay. We know what is the difference between that when we study in reinforcement cement concreting. Okay, obviously now still the days the uh, working stress method is used for that uh, some 894 I didn't get that uh, proper year, but uh, that uh, as code is used for working stress method. I am my study is going through the um, limit state method, so I am always always talking with the limit state method. Okay, when I searching about the in Google about the limit state method, I didn't did not I cannot find out any notes for the steel structure okay so it is um, i wanted to provide you all guys my own notes freely okay no any cost nothing nothing on my website it is very easy go to the simple step just follow my videos and uh, follow my this lectures and with this lecture just mention just make a all time saw the video in exam time this my video is very helpful you guys okay so now this is going lengthy because this is the first lecture and this lecture is very important each and every starting is going to lengthy because in the step in this lecture i provide you what is the exactly step by step procedure here okay now if shall not uh, it shall not suffer total collapse under the accident load such as the term explosion or impact or due to the consequence of human error to an extent beyond the local damage obviously design action is less than or equals to the design strength this is always 
get remind in your actions okay now i open my another uh, pdf file i did not having uh, any um, what can i say uh, any camera action with me okay so if oh the mosquito is there <laughs> it's very funny looking at okay so it is very looking interesting okay so i did not find out how how this mosquito is coming there <laughs> okay so here t is a factorial load okay in every numerical guys you the numerical is provided with the factored load when during the analysis okay also during the um, design also and td is a design factored load you know not about working load safe loads okay if the working load is given then we for the factored load we multiplied by 1.5 and this is very important it is very starting procedure because the numerical what um, the in the examination we have the um, practice about the only factored load so okay so we have to go around with a working load safe load service load also okay so these working load safe load service load these three loads have to multiply by 1.5 then and only then they are convert with the factored load i mind that my english is not so good but uh, i go through some what the action what i done with this english okay now here you, you clear that what the factor load is given in examination okay or service load given in examination working load is given in examination or safe load is given in examination so you have guys multiply all this load okay multi convert this load in a factor load so you have to multiply with the 1.5 okay so you get the t which is factor load now in this new or in always numerical you have to design the td you have to determine the design factor load which is safe okay obviously i give the relation if it is not safe then your design strength is not good okay this is wrong okay this uh, this is not safe always the relation is like t is less than equals to td okay now the question is asked as to determine the design strength of the given tension member or Time member, this is time member. You shall draw the following procedure. You should draw. Okay. My English is so bad. Okay. So now, what you first turn? Okay. You uh, if uh, you provided with the area. So you first you calculate the design strain due to yielding of gross section. And this formula you did. It is a very good news, guys. For us, because this formula is given in the IS code page number 32. Okay, T D G is equals to A G F Y upon gamma M O, and also the value of gamma M O is also given for that. Uh, no require requirement to realize to remember all this value. I tell you what is the what is that page number here? Yes, on page number 30, guys, you get all the value of gamma M O, gamma. um m1 gamma mf gamma mp okay so don't be get confused now first you calculate tdg then you go for second calculation design strain due to rupture of critical section okay and this formula actually i talking about not plate plate okay this formula also is for a uh, plate section okay and for the bolt a rod section so i talking about only rod section not a plate section guys okay so this is formula given on the page number 33 okay at the bottom of a 6.3.3 single angle cross okay now the last is the calculation of design strain due to the block shear okay and it contain two formulas so they always remember nom nom uh, as name as tdb1 and tdb2 not in the as code you have to clear that tdb1 and tdb2 okay now why we are calculating all this value okay listen we are calculating all this value okay i also in second you have to there is a value of beta and beta formula is also posted here okay and the relation is given there you should ha you have to satisfy this relation then and only then the tdn is getting some more value here actually guys for approximate correction okay during the design the td is not Uh, some what time the t is not given factor load is not given so you have to determine some t okay obviously you did you 
you cannot contain the t you you don't know about what is the load is coming out then how you can design okay for then what you cannot use the tdn formula okay for that some values required okay for that some one formula is also there which is called as tdn it is also page number of 33 clause 6.3.3 but it is approximately formula okay which is given by alpha an f upon gamma m1 now what is the changes here okay a and F U and gamma M you specially know. Just only here, uh, that means changes is for alpha. It is 0 0.6 for one or two. If you are provide, providing 0 0.6, that means uh, 0 0.6 value, then you have to check for two volts. Okay, sorry. If you wanted to provide two volt, then you have to take the value of alpha is 0 0.6. Okay, you have to provide three volt. You take the value of alpha is 0 0.7. And if you provide four or more volt okay along with the connection length so this is a statement in the is code actually so you have to take the value of alpha is pointed so all always take the value of uh, alpha is pointed okay now summer summer vacation is going on very hot around okay now during so during calculation tdg tdn and tdb1 tdb2 okay so always take the minimum value of the three here the four value so TDB1 and TDB2 take the minimum of 1. TDB1 and TDB2. Okay. So, these are 1, 2 and 3. So, take minimum value of this 3. This is your TD. And check this TD with the given factor load or service load which is multiplied by 1.5 to make this working factor load. So, it is always satisfy the opposite correction, opposite uh, statement that T is less than equal to TD. Okay, then and only then your equation that you get somewhat marks in examination that yes, this load is not serviceable and what I take the load is uh, this load is can withstand all the pressure or uh, withstand all the sorry, withstand all the load coming around. Okay, so this is along with this you go for the design procedure. Okay, so I think you all get all basic uh, knowledge of this. Okay, so now thank you for watching my lecture. And this note is uh, this notes is on my website. I given the description. Okay, in my blog, this uh, I given the my website address in the description, and you can find out IS code. Not find out the steel table, uh, because the steel table is very important. It is very costly. <laughs> okay, so bye. See you in next lecture. And next lecture is about design of a uh, not design determine is called bolded. Okay, bye. See you later.